CEOs out there that are going, have I gone far enough or, or, or am I going too far? Yeah. That's, that's a complex question because often companies are social or socially responsible because there's a business benefit. And um, I, uh, as I think about being really socially responsible, I think about Bob Chapman and uh, Barry Weimiller Corporation. And uh, Bob Chapman, who's a person that I've had the uh, privilege of meeting on a couple of occasions, uh, he was, uh, he, he's a CEO of a 7,000 person company uh, uh, and it's a very successful company. And he uh, tells the story of when he was uh, at a wedding uh, of a friend and as the bride was being walked up to the altar, he had the realization that she is really uh, a precious child of this, these parents. And, and he had the realization that everyone working in his company was someone's precious child. And, and so he really, he really generated a company where every single person, the importance of every single person, all 7,000 people and their lives and their families was as important as corporate profits. And, and uh, so furthering that concept throughout his company, it evolved into a book. In fact, uh, many people know Simon Sinek, uh, who wrote the book Leaders Eat Last and a number of leadership books. They were really written about Bob Chapman. And, and uh, there's a recent book by Fred Keel called Return on Character, which is a wonderful book in which he also talks about Bob Chapman. And uh, Bob Chapman wrote his own book, uh, which is called Everybody Matters. And so I think if you talk about a, a socially responsible corporation, in my judgment, Barry Weimiller Cor Corporation is as close to it gets in the corporate world today. I do think that other corporations will emulate them because it has been very good for business because people give you their best when they're treated with respect and, and dignity. And I, I can share one little conversation which I don't think Bob Chapman would object to where I said to him, well, you know, it's also nice that considering all your employees as somebody's uh, special child, uh, also results in things going well for your company. And his response to me was, that's not the reason I'm doing it. I'm doing it because everyone is someone's precious child. And if it didn't lead to uh, increases in the bottom line, then I'm sure the board would have something to say about it. But it's not that important to me.